Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. Today we want to talk about some of the changes that happened in one of the last patches and this is a patch where they changed the system damage. So I think all of you are still aware that we do have these really nice options like this. The Vitas was for a long time one of my favorite chips that do have in their main weapon the options to attack against systems. Now in that patch that I'm talking about they did add the attack priority and you can see here the highest attack priority for the Vitas is now the propulsion system. After this primary aircraft system which is the hangar of a carrier ship. So what does that mean? When I read it first I was thinking Ah, uh, the Vitas now is not so good anymore because taking out the propulsion system is... Nah, not, not really what I was looking for. I was always looking for taking out the main system, meaning for carriers, taking out the hangars and therefore disabling all the aircraft the carrier was taking with them or for bigger ships taking out the main weapon. So why would I want to take out the propulsion system? And I have to say a big thanks um, here to Pioneer. Um, he shared one battle report with me. And um, if we take a look at this, this opens up a complete new way of, yeah, um, annihilating your enemy. You probably remember in the past it was impossible to kill utility ships because before you kill them they always retreat. But as you can see here this utility ship got its propulsion system damaged. And um, without the propulsion system you cannot retreat anymore. Meaning this ship will be lost. And um, this is something completely new because this now allows you to really kill a farm fleet. So if you look around and you do find a spot where an enemy is farming resources like this, what happened in the past, yes, you can attack them, but it was a waste of AP. And what you did is you were attacking the platforms, the mining platforms, because they are expensive to build. But attacking the miners, yeah, they do retreat, but you can send them out immediately. You don't even have to wait till they are repaired. Now, if you set up a fleet like you just saw it with um, the Mara Serenitas or Reliat Stels, for example, as some um, frigates, they will now kill the propulsion system of that miner and therefore really are going to destroy it and that will put your enemy into a bad situation because it will be so much more difficult to recover from this. If you kill four, five, six advanced miners it will be very very expensive to rebuild these. First you do lose um, the resources they were mining and second, oh, sorry, here, if we take a look one of them costs 15,000 crystal and 9,000 deuterium. They are not cheap. Two hours, okay, that doesn't matter in endgame. Um, you should have enough speed ups, but still, this now can really hurt. And the same thing if you attack bigger fleets. Let's take a look. I got a fleet here collecting. I'm not sure if that will work out, but we will see later. Um, if you have a fleet like this, many times when you were attacking these fleets, at one point a lot of ships were retreating. So yes, you did defeat them, but they were not lost. Now having ships that disable the propulsion system will make sure that all those who lost their propulsion are going to be lost and that will hurt a lot. Now let's take a look what ships do we have that do prioritize propulsion systems. So if you want to set up a fleet like this, what options do you have? Um, the first thing I already mentioned, the frigates. Um, we do have the Mara Serenitas here. And um, always the same thing. 
check the weapon system, you click on it, attack um, against systems, and you see we do have the propulsion here. Now this one I have, the Rayliard Stealth version, unfortunately I do not yet have this, it doesn't want to show up for me. Um, definitely the better frigate if you want to set it up, but hey be honest, if you want to hunt miners down, the Serenitatis is definitely good enough. When we look into um, bigger fleets, so it's not only for hunting down miners, we do also have four different options. We do have the Vitas, I already mentioned these. Um, I think I will, I will add them, or honestly, I did already add them again into my fleet setup for PvP. They are now getting a really little mean beast inside there. Um, the other ones are the Stingrays, also the Stingrays do have the option to destroy systems. Propulsion system is also here on highest attack priority. We do have the Newlander. The Newlander I think it is one of the underrated ships we have in our fleet. Um, it doesn't look so good on paper but every time I use it it performs surprisingly well and the priority is still the primary weapon system and the second one is a propulsion system. So I do think that is a pretty decent boost for the B192 Newland. Um, we have to keep that in mind. And then the last one would be uh, the Mistral. I do not have the Mistral. It is a very, very good fighter. Let's take a look. We can see this in our blueprints. Let's go there, here. And uh, unfortunately we have to scroll down quite a bit. So the Mistral is here. The Mistral also comes with the option to destroy enemy weapon systems. Same here, primary target will be the primary weapon system, secondary is a propulsion system. For me this is the best possible attack order because first you take out the big damage part and then you disable it so that it cannot escape anymore. In addition you do have the anti-aircraft support. Now this goes a little bit um, against the concept of taking out ships because it will lock on aircrafts first but then when it's done there it will start taking out ship systems so always depending how you want to use it pretty pretty nice so these are the six options you have you have two frigates Mare Serenitatis and Reliat Stealth and you have four fighters Vitas A021 B9 uh, B192 Newlander the Stingray and the Mistral and with these now you can build up some really nice fleets. I think the main reason for these fleets would be PvP related. Um, I don't see much use for um, PvE like here. I don't think they have the main reason here because I don't, I don't care if something returns to to the um, to the experimental center here or to the mob. So. Um, for PvP this would be something um, to really hurt your enemy more, to be able to bullying your enemy by destroying and hunting down their farm ships, their utility ships, their miners um, and to increase the losses they take in battles with their main fleets. Don't Use this video to bully other players. This is not supposed to be a guide how to bully players, but um, keep it in mind, especially if you have big fights, if there are big wars, increasing the losses of your enemy will very likely give you an advantage in the war and that is more where this video is aimed for. So increasing your chances to win the war by um, increasing the number of losses you will um, give the enemy player. Hope you liked the video, let me know what you think, what experience did you make with the updated um, system damage options, um, write it in the comments, subscribe to the channel and then I'll see you on the next video again.